Oh my god, look what's back. Hands up if you remember this! My whiteboard and all of my shiny magnets! You might remember this from slightly more recently because I used to do a series where I would react to my TBRs and then get magnets for... I don't remember what the rules were of that game but I want to know if you were here from the beginning tell me if you remember book jail please put a lock emoji below if you remember book jail because that was a long time ago i have been playing games on my channel basically since i set it up even back in like 2017 i think was the first time i titled the video oh no i invented another game and that i believe was balancing the books the only one that i'm still playing but book jail was my first ever ever game and the idea here was i was on a book buying ban i was in book jail and I had various challenges that could get me little magnets along my path. And when I got to the end, I would be out of book jail. And I'm bringing it back with a change. It is now called book trail because I didn't want to go on a book buying ban. So the format here of book trail is basically exactly the same as book trail. It's a way of keeping myself accountable for all of the challenges that I set myself with my reading this year. So the end of every month, I think I will usually just do it at the end of a balancing the books video, unless you want it to be a separate video every time. Um, I'm happy either way. But at the end of every month, I will go through my list of resolutions and I will get points for every ones that I've managed to keep. But here's the twist. One of my main resolutions for my reading this year was to read at least 25% authors of colour. And so to make sure that by the end of the year I had done that, I wanted to try and read at least 25% authors of colour every month. But I didn't feel like it was right for me to be getting brownie points for doing that when it's already such a small percentage. And so instead I introduced this row at the bottom this whiteboard is way bigger than the one I used to have. We can't both fit on screen. Any month that I don't read at least 25% authors of colour, I get a magnet in one of these squares. But what does any of it mean? I shall tell you. When I achieve my book trail and get to these fun balloons at the end here, I am allowed to go on a shopping spree that doesn't count for balancing the books. On the condition that I will do that shopping spree at a black owned bookstore or publisher, like for example, Jacaranda. So I can buy whatever I want in that shopping spree and I won't have to unhaul those numbers in balancing the books. Very exciting stuff. But what happens if I get to the end of the punishment row? Well then I have to donate the cost of a book to Jacaranda or a similar black owned bookstore or publisher, but I don't actually get the free book. I can buy a book if I want, but it wouldn't be free in balancing the books. And I'm also going to say that the point is I have to donate the cost of a book. So I can buy a book if I want, but then I would also have to donate the cost of another book. So how do I actually get those points? I have a little notebook here where I'm keeping track of all of my reading. So I will tell you that my challenges that I'm going to be trying to do every single month is read at least one of the buzzword-a-thon buzzword books. So Buzzwordathon has been set up by Books and Lala. She used to do it as readathons and now it's this kind of year-long challenge where every month she set us a different word and you can make it into a readathon if you want. I just thought it'd be fun to take that challenge and try and read at least one book each month with that word in the title. So I will get a little magnet for every book that I managed to achieve for the Buzzwordathon. I'm also trying to do the Reading Women challenge this year. So Reading Women, the podcast, released a set of 24 prompts as well as some bonus authors that you can get points for and the aim is at the end of the year you've really diversified the women that you're reading from so I also will get a magnet for every reading women prompt that I tick off when it comes to balancing the books any number that I go down from balanced if I actually manage to reduce my TBR I get a point for each one and then finally I had set myself the challenge to read at least 18% books in translation this year. Uh, the reason being I looked at my favourite books of the year and found that 18% of them were in translation. So every month if I have managed to read at least 18% books in translation I get one point for that. And then I already told you about the bottom row which is if I fail to read 25% authors of colour. So hello my old friends, I have missed you. What's funny is that these aren't my old ones, I Marie Kondoed my whole house and decided to get rid of the whiteboard and all of these pretty magnets and then like a few months later decided I had to buy them back so I just had to buy them back. How stupid is that? So you can only have half of it in screen because it's too big. Challenge number one, buzzword-a-thon, 
This month in January, the buzzword was dream, and I only read one book with dream in the title, and that was The Secret Dream World of a Shopaholic, which is lucky because I thought it was called Confessions of a Shopaholic, but the edition that I bought was called Dream World. So, my first point. Challenge number two is the reading women prompts. So I just need to remind myself which of these I have ticked off. I read a book with a biracial protagonist, one of the stories in the Office of Historical Corrections, which I raved about in Balancing the Books. It was my favourite book of the month, and one of the stories in that had a biracial protagonist. I gave that one five stars, so that's one point for that. I also read Bridget Jones for the challenge to read a book with a cover designed by a woman. Here it is, isn't it stunning? And this really cool cover was designed by Katie Turk. That one was also a five star read. So two magnets going on the board. Doesn't it look so pretty? Challenge number three was the Balancing the Books challenge. That video went up last week, I will link to it below, and spoilers for the end, I actually managed to reduce my TBR by three books. That is uncharacteristically good for me. And then finally, the challenge to read at least 18% books in translation. I think only one of the books I read was in translation. The Unseen was translated from Norwegian, and I read a total of 17 books, so what percentage is one out of 17? Please hold for the calculator. 5%. <laughs> Not quite good enough. None for Gretchen Wieners. And then to find out if I have to put any magnets on the bottom row, I need to look at how many of the books that I read in January were by authors of colour. So again, I read 17 books in total, and five of them were by authors of colour. Calculator come back. That's 29%. Okay, so I did manage to stick to that resolution this month, which is good. So there you go, I have six shiny magnets on my new book trail board, and I'm very excited to have this back in my life. And I can't wait until I get to the party balloons at the end and can go book shopping. So this game is still quite adaptable. If you have any suggestions for how you think it should work, do let me know in the comments below. If you have any other challenges you think I should try and do that I can add to my list of resolutions I'm trying to stick to, let me know. I'm really open to adding more to my list. And I hope you enjoyed the return of book jail slash trail. I didn't want to be in jail again. See you next time, bye! I'm sick of daydreaming, I just want the feeling of you in my bed I'm down at this waistline right below your waistline